Yes, he is multidimensional. But then, so are all life forms that have been created by the divine. What do you think happens when you sleep? You leave your body and join your friends, family, and pets in the astral. Many whom you have never met on the earth plane before, and many of you will be fortunate enough to be escorted onto the higher dimensions where you can remain only for a short while with our assistance. And so, he also can be found in the astral, but in the lower frequencies of the astral. We do not advise you visit this area of the astral. And so his existence on the earth plane is real. Just take a look around you and bear witness to the chaos, confusion, and wickedness that humanity has had to endure over the centuries. Furthermore, great rituals are required for him or the dark energies to harness power. Rituals you will be familiar with, but have thus far perhaps not recognized them as such. The opening of CERN, C-E-R-N, and the Olympics, the Super Bowl, and most recently the Eurovision. All very dark rituals indeed. On the other hand, the angels and other higher life forms also use major events to help them truly cross dimensions down to the lower vibrations of the earth plane. The death of Diana, Princess of Wales, and even more so, the day of her funeral. There was, for those few hours, an unprecedented amount of love coming from Mother Earth sufficient, at least, to open a portal and allow the angels access to Mother Earth. Stupid, foolish, and yet cunning, he remains mostly in the energy field of those with a low enough vibration to be absorbed by his energy. Possession, by him or one of his entourage, is rare indeed. Thus far, he has not come out and revealed himself in form, for to do so would send such a shock wave of fear amongst humanity that prayers to the divine would be represented in unpresidential proportions. This would not bide well with his plans. For soon, faith would emerge as the champion, and faith begins to remove fear. Hope sets in raising the vibration further till finally gratitude for prayers answered is reached, the highest vibration in which love resides. And so, it matters not what other planets or where in the cosmos he wishes to try and infiltrate. It is a question only of frequency. It is frequency that allows for crossing dimensions. You have to have the right frequency, and so he can only reach the lower frequencies within the universe. In much the same way, a healer sends healing energy to someone requiring healing across the other side of the world. The healer is not physically there, but his presence is felt. This is also being multidimensional. Likewise, I am not physically with this messenger, but he feels my presence or my vibration. I am, after all, like you, multidimensional. To be multidimensional is to be a master of frequency. And so we are multidimensional beings existing simultaneously on various frequencies around the cosmos and in various timelines, as do the angels, nature, wildlife, and of course, so it is with the darker vibrational life forms, all existing 
to divine perfection. The vibration of the whole universe is rising, making it impossible for the lower vibrations to exist in certain areas of the universe, because its root vibration in those spaces are too high for the lower vibrations to reach up and penetrate. So they simply have to raise their vibration to exist in that space. When they raise their vibration to reach those places, they will have to lose sufficient darkness or lower vibration and allow for a spark of light to penetrate them. This is how the divine is giving the darkest of life forms the opportunity to feel love. Once again, the message is clear and simple. You are safe in love. I am Jean.